it Raven on set, please. Raven on set. Raven, they're ready for you. Mirror, mirror, hunties. We're back. Oh, <laughs> everyone, it's Raja. Oh, f yeah, it's hey, Raven. You're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race UK. <laughs> so <laughs> punk. I'm so not. And we're trying to be British. And do yes, it. but we're from Southern California. We're doing it's really such a job. Anyway. <laughs> We're going to be tuning in Booting the Look from the main stage, season four, UK of... So punk, yeah. punk is a theme. Punk represents rebellion. It is everything that goes against what society and government tells you to do. It is a style. The outfit should be pushing boundaries. The more spikes, the more safety pins, the happier I am. Bend over. Again? <laughs> You're always telling to bend over. Mm. Gross. The aesthetic of punk actually comes from Great Britain through Vivian Westwood and Malcolm McLaren and the Sex Pistols. I also want to see some of the quintessential punk concepts like tartan, spikes, metal, Doc safety Martens, pins. safety pins, mohawks, uh, patent leather, and these bitches better go big or go home. Can you feel the love? Category is pretty in punk. Danny Beard does give me Vivian Westwood, very modern Westwood actually, where there's mm -hmm. just weird draping and weird places and it doesn't make sense, little garbagey. She's not Hot Topic. This bitch is on the streets and she's scaring people and that is punk. And ultimately that message, gender, is the most punk rock thing that I can think of at this very moment in history. But it's also nothing new. Gender has been around for quite a long time before we were so easily able to speak about it. Any person who has put on drag has said gender. Absolutely. There's a bit of mohawk, there's the tartan, there's the buckles, the graffiti scrawling, there's the anarchy symbols. All of the elements that I want to see are there. I think she is representing punk in the very best way. She's back to that white face that and the face, severity, yeah. which also is quite punk. The ropes, the chains, the mm -hmm. different types of plaid, the corset, everything that's thrown on this mm -hmm. is done in a perfect way. I am looking at the entire painting. I'm looking at the picture, the illustrative quality of this entire image, the aesthetic, and I'm totally cool with that. Toot! Toot. Next, we bring to the stage John Burr's Blonde. I find this look to be too easy. There's just something missing to me. I think it's, it's a little too, too pretty. Sterilized. Too pretty. She went and got a huge safety pin, <laughs> stuck it in the front of something, put her wig on backward, which kudos that, to you. It's not enough. No. It's not enough for me. I think there needs to be at least 10 more of those giant safety pins. Mm -hmm. One going through her shoulder pads, one going across her head in a diagonal. Punk is not one safety pin. It's multiple safety pins. And I don't mm -hmm. care if it's a big one big safety pin. It looks like there's a lot missing. If that whole thing were held together by safety pins, Maybe. Mm -hmm. It's just almost textbook. If she removed that safety pin, she could do any old pop song. I'm not scared of her. I want to be like, whoa, that's too much. She should have had a thigh high on. I want to see this bitch looking like she is waiting to take pictures with tourists outside of Camden. The tufts of hair on the bottom, that's kind of mm -hmm. cool, mm -hmm. but maybe more, or there could have been a couple more elements, maybe something under that fishnet. Everything looks so pristine and beautiful that it does not take me to the punk levels that I really want it to No. Be. I'm gonna say it's a boot. It's a boot. Next we bring to the stage, Black Peppa. Oh. Dang, come on, bitch. 
a gag on this bitch. Yes, please, Black Peppa. It is gorgeous. She looks fantastic. She has taken all of the wonderful elements of punk, which includes leather, metal, spikes, a mohawk, piercings. The makeup is exquisite. Everything the looks so goddamn good on her. Braids going down for, like I'm the gauntlet. Into it. I'm into the... it. Mm -mm. Mm. We've seen so many big shoulders in Drag Race, right? But this mm -hmm. just looks truly, truly exquisite. I love where My those God. shoulders are sitting. I like mm -hmm. that they're sitting on top of her shoulders. They're not out on the side. Look at the boots. <laughs> those spikes are so beautifully placed. I'm completely frightened of her. There's a little bit of like Beyond Thunderdome in there. I was too. gonna say it's, it's very Beyond Thunderdome as well. Touch of Tank Girl. The makeup, it's a f hot. It is Hot. Post for kaka laka laka. Mm -hmm. She's missing a bat with spikes coming out of it. Ooh. Like she's gonna go hunting. Mm -hmm. and she's the baddest bitch in the tribe. She's mm -hmm. just this walking sculpture. Oh, it's mm -hmm. a. Am I allowed to give shoots? You can do whatever you want because, because I am I'm giving this shooter. a shoot. It's a shoot. It's a shoot. It's a shoot. shoot. It is shoot. Mwah. It is chef's kiss. It is everything I wanted to see. Next, we bring to the stage Pixie Polite. Oh. So this is a very, very Westwood, Westwood take on punk. And Vivian Westwood invented punk. This works for me. And she said she was giving you Westwood fantasy, and I see it. And she's covered in safety pins. She's splattered in paint. It's very God Save the Queen, Sex Pistols. Like it's, mm -hmm. it's always a reference to the monarchy as being absolute garbage. All of the elements are there. Yeah. There's fishnet, tattered garment. There's mm -hmm. paint mm -hmm. splashed mm -hmm. on it, asymmetrical. This is not Avril Lavigne. This is, this is not that kind of punk. This is like <laughs> actual, actual punk. There's nothing hot topic about this. This is a very, very specific take on punk and it's actually very accurate. Pixie Polite. She really does not look that polite. Mmm, exactly. She looks rude. Pixie rude. Give it a two. Two. Last but not least, we have Cheddar Gorgeous. Ooh. And the attitude, like, come on. She's a little rough. She's like, but she's like, I'm gonna mosh fit you. You know what I do wish it had was a just a touch of color to it. But she's got the green spikes. In the outfit itself, I need just a touch of color. Maybe a plaid shirt. Plaid belt. Something. Or, a, or something that broke it up. What if maybe the things on her legs were different or she had like a sock? Yes. But see, with Black Peppa, Black Peppa is wearing the same thing just with red spikes. Right. And we live for that. But it was silver and reflective. I still think this outfit is really, really Cool. I would totally, totally beg to borrow this. But just maybe a touch of color would have been like, ah! I would have loved to see like maybe like a shredded Union Jack flag hanging off of her belt. But otherwise, it's very tough. Very, yeah. very, very punk. So I give her a two. Two. Trend alert! Spikes. 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 Oh, oh you, you, you. <laughs> Spikes, <laughs> Spike Lee, Spike Jones, Spike, spike, spike your spike, punch, spike, 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 spike your punch, spike your drinks. Our top two of the week is Black Pepper. Yes, Black Pepper. Oh, it's gorgeous. It is giving, it is living, all of it. it is living, it is all of it, all of it, all of it, all of it, all of it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh my gosh, the finale of RuPaul's Drag Race UK season four is Thursday. Thursday. Are you team Black Peppa? Are you team Jombers Blonde? Are you team Danny Beard? Or are you team Cheddar Gorgeous? You can watch it around the world on WOW Presents Plus with the exception of Canada and the UK where you can watch it on BBC Three. All right, Blacks, we'll off. Get the f out of here. Get the f out of here.